Welcome to Holy Week, Tuesday, 2020. This is Dr. Steve Kobernick, pastor of prayer here at the Rock Church and World Outreach Center, and this is the third of seven three-minute imaginary prayers of Jesus at the beginning of each day. I encourage you first to listen to this little conversation Yeshua could have had with his father about what was on his heart early Tuesday morning of Holy Week. Then read Matthew 21, 23 to 46 to see how his day went after his prayer. Finally, ask God in Jesus' name for the same four prayer requests he prays at the end of the video. Life-giving Abba, thank you for providing shalom in the temple yesterday after the chaotic cleansing I gave it so I could bring your presence and do redemptive miracles for the oppressed. And thanks so much for speaking audibly to demonstrate your support of me while I was teaching. But the religious leaders completely reject us and what we do. I suspect yesterday was the last straw for them. Yes, my only begotten son Yeshua, they are plotting your death even now. Okay, then we really do need to transfer our kingdom from Israel to my apostles. I'm remembering Isaiah's parable of the vineyard. Good, it's time to tell them that we are taking our vineyard away from Israel and giving it to your ecclesia, the church you are calling out. Wow, Abba, that's huge. But it's one of the most important things you sent me to do, isn't it? Yes, and I want you to announce it in the temple with the chief priests, scribes, Sadducees, and Pharisees listening so they know it's laid at their feet. They will challenge your authority, but I want you to challenge their rejection of John the Baptist and the assignment I gave him to prepare them to receive you as their Messiah and King. It's such an unnecessary tragedy, Yeshua cries out in anger mixed with sorrow, but it's so righteous and so necessary now for the salvation of Israel and of the world. Yes, my son, Rejection hurts deeply, especially when we know it means eternal loss to those we have invested so much love into. But we will be deeply satisfied with the ultimate outcome. Any requests you have for me today? Yes, Abba. One, for Shalom in Jerusalem and for all Israel to be saved at some time in the future. Two, for the apostles I have trained and the others they will train to draw near to us, hear our voice, and loyally obey us all their lives. Three, for people who have been deceived into trying to save themselves by good works or religious feelings, to transfer their loyalty to preachers of salvation by grace through faith according to the scriptures. And four, for clear guidance by our spirit. So I say only what you are saying again today, especially in the midst of skeptics and scoffers. Amen.